Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the paint to turn up, um, I've got them off as you can see. Um, to get the right length of cable, like uh, piping, sorry. Um, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a bit of speaker cable. You can use a bit of string or whatever you've got laying around. And I'm going to be making it out of this copper, uh, not copper, sorry, <coughs> can't talk today, uh, steel brake line, which will look a lot nicer. And I've got one of these tools to help straighten out the, the pipe and pipe bending tool. So I do have a couple of clips like this, and these are designed to hold the new line with the old line so you can get an exact... Um, but I've messed about with these in the past and I didn't find them all that useful. So I'm going to position the camera down and uh, let's crack on. Okay, so I've, I'm just going to use some speaker cable, overlap it a little bit on each end. Just going to get rough over. And this is the length I need to cut off this, this pipe here. Let's just put this to the side, the old one. is coming out okay. What I'm gonna do is put a pipe straightener. First I've used this to see how well it works. Apparently you just meant to pull through and it's going to straighten the, the pipe. Size. Oh, yeah. Don't you heard that? Oh, keep checking to make sure you cut the right size. Right, okay, so I'm going to cut it just up here at the right length. I've got to pop out, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay, so I've got it straightened out. It don't get it perfectly flat, but it gets it reasonably straight. So the next thing I want to do is flare one of the ends. I want to use one of these cup joints, joiners. I've forgotten what it's actually called, but to match up this end on the old one. Okay. And... I've got a flaring kit. Let's wind this back because I get really rusty, but that looks like a double flare on the end there. Let's 
see. I don't know where you can see that, but that's what we've got to recreate on the end. I don't want to put that over the end like that. Let's put this odd one out there in a second. And flaring kit. Okay. Let's put this along the bench like that. So this kit is pretty good. Okay. Comes with one of these. I've, I use a bit of copper grease on it to help. Okay. You've got option one, which is a single flare. Don't know where you can see that on the camera. Okay. Then you flip it over and you get the inside flare. So you start with this side first, then you end it with this one. What we do, undo the two bolts. And then in this end, you use this stopper. Then with the end, okay, you put it in here in this hole here. Until you put it in until it hits the stopper. Then you tighten the Allen keys back down, bolts back down. And then that should be flush up against the stopper. Then you undo the, the stopper. Okay, this, with this bit, you've got option four, uh, option one first. So this side in. It's already got copper grease on it. Make sure it's still nipped up. Then I need to get a spanner to nip tighten this up. Let me just go and grab one. And you get 17 mil and you just nip it up. Undo it. Spin it around. Take it out, and if, I've, if this is done right, and I've got it good, and do the Allen key. This claims to be the easiest device 
you can do it on, was it in situ on the car. Hey. Let me get the old one so we can compare it. Right, so there's the old one. It's a bit more of an inward flare on that one. But there's the new one. It's not much of an inward double flare on this, is there, really? So you can't see that. It looks okay though. Only time will tell once I do it all up, see if it leaks. But now, let's get the little fit in, put it over. I'm going to put it on the other end. Nope. I know where Oliver is because I saw him running to his hiding spot when I said ready or not, here I come. I know <laughs> where he is, but I don't know where Alex is, and I want to get Alex first. Ah. Uh, kids are playing hide and seek. So, yeah. Now it's time to start bending from one way across to the other side. Right, so best way to do it, I found, is level it up or measure it up. I'll try and just guide with this tool. You've got two sizes, three eight, uh, three sixteenths and one quarter. Keep checking it. See, if you use these, let me show you what these things can actually do to help. You've got two sides, small brute lines and the big line.
Let me get this leveled off a bit more. Alright, let me see if I can get a better angle on this. Okay. Can you get us a little kink in just here? This one here, so we get this and we put it in there like this. Anything I'm noticing using these, you've got to make sure the pipe stays in, in, in the right spot. So now we've got to make this end here. If I let go, it tilts upwards. See? So then the bend would be in the wrong spot. So what I might, so what I might do here is get a little cable tie or something and just cable tie it together for a second. Let me just grab some. Just use, just use, it. Just use the cable tie. I think I will. I think it'll help a little bit. Okay, so my camera over here for a second there, but we're getting there. I've reset it all back up. Okay, um, I've let the camera cool down. Now I'm just going to do this bend here and slowly make my way around here. Um, you get the gist of it from these first few bends and everything else. So let's just speed the footage up and crack on with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
See the little overlap there. So I can put, I can cut it off a bit here and put the um, like little connector on the end for the other end. But let's get this off of here and see what we've got. It's looking pretty good. It's not perfect. But like I said, I think the original ones are machine made. Where this one is obviously handmade. So, yeah. And if you guys hadn't noticed, I've actually started wearing, got my mic working again. I had to get it replaced. Take the cable tie off. side by side okay so they look pretty good I'm happy with them so I've just got to double flare this side so yeah Ooh. So I just got double. I just got to do a flare on this side. Put the other connector on. That's what normally on this one. And then it's good to go. And then I've just got to do the other side. Which right. So what I'm going to do is just trim it. Where you can see it's a little bit more than the old one, but not by much. Just a little bit. I'm going to put this on there and we'll flare it, do a single flare on this side, I believe it was. So let's get it cut. Right, so I flipped it around, but what I have discovered is a little bit of a problem and it's going too good to be true so when I put this in there where I've bend, bent the line here can't quite squeeze this on okay so I'm just going to test something all right yeah no it's not enough we should take that off there is enough there all right but if I take that off I'm not going to get it back on there so, let me dig out my old um, brake flaring kit. I'm not too happy with using it, but if I have to, I have to. That's probably a, a bit of a user error there. Maybe I should have, before I bent this final one, put this on. So it's down here, flared it, then bent it. So bear that one in mind. Right, so, I'll have to give you a garage tour one day, guys. But if you would like that, just let me know and I'll, sort, and I'll do it. Right, so how this one works, you've got all the sizes, the pipes there, we're using 3 16 So it's this little hole here. But how this works, so you can put in a vise, but I've not got myself a vise big enough yet. like this you've got to find the right one that fits inside the brake pipe you watch I won't find one now there is I think this is it 
Yep. Okay. Then you put this bit right flush up against. And then what you want to do is pull the brake line up to the first knot, like the first step. So loosen it back up. Right, I don't know how clear this is going to come out because go, the action cam has overheated again. But with this little piece here, okay, what I'm going to do is line it up like so. Need to go in a bit more. I hate using this one. See, the idea is you get enough pipe so it's in line with the first step. Then you're cracking it down. Then you've got a device like this. Like that. In the pipe like that. But you need enough room. Like so. All you do is you just do it up. And right up, it. you can see it's flush in there. So let's get it off, and hopefully, this time it's worked. <coughs> You know what, anyone spotted the mistake I've just done? So after all that, I've not put this bit actually on there. Damn it. Okay. Right, well I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to trim that off and redo it. Okay, but you get the idea. So before you get to this end, or even if you do it the other way around, um, so if you do it this way, oh no, it's back. Look, the cap. So if you do it this way around, the way I've done it, that last bend, don't bend it until you've flared it. If you've got that other tool, because this one's a pain in the ass to use. So maybe I should get a bench vise and give this one a bit more of a go. But I've got to trim this end off and put <laughs> this little bit in. See, not a pro. We'll make mistakes. And I've got a chip on the lens now. No, nope, I've got a crack on the lens. Damn. Um, right, Nugget. So, you've seen how I made this one. Um, the other one's pretty much the same, with less bends in it. So, if you like the video so far, and the process I'm doing, be sure to subscribe, it's free. And um, I apologise for all the kids in the background making all the noise throughout this video. So I'm going to sort this out and I'll bring you back in a second when it's done. Right, what I ended up doing is straightening this curve out here. Okay, and then flaring it and putting this on. And then trying to bend it back into place. It'll work. Fingers crossed it'll be okay. 
uh, and time will tell when I go to fit it back on the car but it, it's not perfect but compared to the original I don't think that's done too bad and it's the first time I've actually tried to do a brake line um, so yeah I'm happy with it so yeah I did get the vice out and try again with this but I don't think the vice was really up to scratch because it broke the workbench I'm going to put pressure in it so I've got to find another work surface or repair that somehow so um, yeah that is it one of the brake lines done so I told you I'd bring you back in and show you that I had fin actually finished it and I'll tell you what I've done uh, but yeah like and subscribe and all that good jargon Again, sorry for the kids in the background. The kids have got to play. And um, if you're enjoying the video so far, the progress on the ST so far, stay tuned because there's more to come. A hell of a lot more to come. So. Um